All right, so today um, I, I will be doing uh, the Keiko. We will start and close with Tanya, and I'm inserting in the middle a section that we, I've studied with Ijo Sensei before on what he at the time called conflict resolution. I'm now calling it coexistence, except he's moved on to calling it harmony and solidarity. Um, but um, given the circumstances in Ukraine and Lebanon and Syria and Tigray and Yemen and on and on we go, um, I was just focusing a bit on coexistence and having um, different emotional reactions all existing within us, acknowledging that they're both there. Um, the love, the hate, the anger, the joy, all of it together and was practicing with our stances how we how we can feel that. So, all right. Okay, so here we are. A nice neutral stance, feet about shoulder width apart. You know, feel the ground through your feet. Uh, just keep reconnecting with the ground, the floor. And we'll just first do a little bit of soft wakame, just get some blood and lymph flowing here and forward and back. Just a nice little sway. Everything is flowing and passing through beyond no need for resistance. And a little to the side. Oh. Find some of those places that tend to get tight around our hips. The lateral side, we don't tend to stretch as much, so give it a little bit of attention. And let the sway turn a little bit side to side. Don't push, just a little bit over each shoulder. Feel the spiral turn. Good. And move this on up into more Taiki Mai. So let's dance with the universe. And bring your arms up just a little bit first. And we'll get up a little higher as we go forward and back. So let your arms gradually rise up. Palms slightly open to form a great funnel. And forward and back. Ish. Me. Sun. She. Go. Uh. Sish. Hutch. Kid. Do a few more. Don't go really far. Ish. Me. Sun. She. Go. Uh. Sish. Hutch. Kid. Two, and side to side, keep the funnel open. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, two, two, a few more. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, two, to and spiraling softly at first. Don't worry about how far you go. Let your eyes travel and look over shoulder. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, two, two, a few more. Ish, me, sun. She go rook sish ah that's a good sound and just stretch a bit more so let your hands travel up and then release and drop down ish and circle knee sun let your knees relax she you go rook sish touch. Two, two, few more. Ish, me, sun, chi, go, rook, sish, touch, two, two. Good. So we circled our shoulders. Let's circle our knee and our ankle. I'm going to use something for a little support. I'm raising my knee, but it's my ankle that's turning it with my wrist. Ish, I'm not with it, but at the same time. Ish, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, ku, ju, other direction. Ish, knee, sun, she, go, 
rook, c, h, q, q, and up and down. This is Connie's addition through full range of motion up, me, sun, she, go. And invert and evert, ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, c, h, good. I'm going to keep facing the same direction. So I'm raising my other knee, but you'd raise your left and use your left arm. Ish, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, ach, ku, ju, other way. Ish, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, ach, ku, ju, and up and down. Ish, knee, sun, she, Go, invert and evert, ish, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hatch, good. All right, so now let's turn our middle. So just let the koshi turn side to side and your arms follow, ish, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hatch, ku, Ju and a little bit more of a tap, ish, me, sun, chi, go, rook, ish, touch, ku, ju, let my right arm come up to my left shoulder and shake down, ish, me, sun, chi, go, rook, sish, touch, ku, do you pay attention to releasing out from your shoulder through the arm, out through the wrist, so that everything becomes loose and let go? Ish, ni, sun, she, go. Study the same thing. I have to chew down, ish, ni, and as you come out, chew down that I'll let it circle a little bit behind you. So almost as it goes to drop, it comes slightly at an angle behind. Ish, ni, and she go rook sish touch two two good. And now we made you like a frisbee, but a little bit more emphasis on actually letting my your thumb come up over the kidney area and then out in front. Ish me sun she go rook. Sish, hutch, ku, do a few more, ish, ni, sun, shi, go. Good. And same feeling of up the central meridian over the shoulder and behind, ish, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, sish, hutch, ku, Two, and we're gonna do the dropping down one where our palms face back. And really remember to focus that as it drops, that the little finger touches briefly on the thigh and flicks out so that the little finger flicks out. So let's try that. Ish, me, sun, she, yo, rook, sish. Touch, two, do a few more. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, touch, two, two. Good, and then shake out her legs. So just softly, the neck is super high, just let it shake. Feel it come all the way down through your legs, out your heel. Ish, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, touch, ku, ju, and out to the sides because I like all directions. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, touch, ku. Do you like you're stepping back up over something? Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, ku, ju. And the last one's very the height, but 
Focus on making sure and trying to have the energy come out the heel of your foot. Just like when you shake your hand, have it come out the heel. Leash, knee, sun, the sole. She, go, rook, sish, touch, two, two, a few more, and vary the height. Leash, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, touch, two, two, and bring it back down. And just take a moment again to feel all the blood flow, lymph flow through your body. And breathing in and letting your arms float up, palms up. As they come up, fill with all the universal energy around us and taking it over so that the right chakra is over and the left chakra over the crown chakra. And take a moment to nourish yourself, bring all that energy in. And bring that energy down and around. Think of it encompassing your entire body. So all the way around your head, cheeks, jaw. And take a moment to pause at the mid chest level where your arms form this cross feeling at the wrists. Like shining the light into yourself. And bring that on down under the arms, along the side of the body, crossing over the center and midline. And standing again, fully open feet. Hands are out to the side. There's that slight bend, so it's not straight down. It's not completely kaishogun. It's halfway in between. And bring your feet together. Yame and ready. All right, well, welcome everyone. That's Time you know, part two is warm up. So let's just play a little bit with me and um, you can give me feedback later when we pause. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm looking at the concept of coexistence. Um, one of the interesting things I find in Shintaido is um, we allow space for many different kinds of emotions and to try to avoid labeling them as good, bad, desirable, or not desirable. They just are. Um, and sometimes we have more of one emotion than another. And how does that? happen in our body, how might we express it, um, and what does it do, okay? So we've talked about seaweed, um, our feet are shoulder width apart, you know, the toes are open, the foot is fully making contact with the ground, my hands are doing that same kind of feeling, um, and <clears throat> seaweed could be wind in the wheat, trees in the wind, but it's a flowing, continuous kind of movement, you let things come in, you let things pass by. And just keep that nice soft feeling. And the first one we're going to study is what happens when there's something that startles us and sends us into sort of a, a flight, um, panic kind of a mode. And so what happens if I hear something, ah, I may find myself, wait, Forward, perhaps on my toes, my arms may go up like a small child, my eyes open, and I inhale. So let's just try that all together and let's go. <gasps> I can feel myself off center, wobbling, weaving, and let's try it a few more times. Let's go. <gasps> and third time, let's go. <gasps> And relax and come back through to see me again and feel it move on through and pass again. Good. So what's the other um, reaction you might have to something startling? One is to run away, flight. Um, the other is that you might respond in anger, plus, plus. And to me, that's like a big, hard rock um, coming down and really expressing it. So everything in my body tightens and and my, oh, my arms tight, my legs tight, and I might be leaning forward, 
you know, I'm going to meet whatever's coming my way. <sighs> and I breathe out. And I contract. So let's try that. <sighs> and try it again. <sighs> And a third time. Oh. Good. And again, come back to seaweed. Here I'm soft and absorbing, thinking before I might have been holding my breath, exhaling my breath, tightening my muscles. Now I'm soft and flowing. So let's just go through the three again, and I'm going to add the fourth one. So let's just do panic. Oh! I'm startled. Oh, and now I'm angry. I'm going to meet it plus plus. Oh! Yeah. And back to seaweed. So seaweed's very, another very useful one, right? Let's things flow on by. But what's another stance that we might explore that lets us just be neutral in all that's happening? So same stance with our feet shoulder width apart, toes and feet open, but now feel the rise up through Tenchi Jin. And the analogy in nature is often to think of it as bamboo. Bamboo can still have soft parts that move in the wind, but there's a stability to a bamboo or oak or a redwood tree. You can pick your image in nature. And you're not necessarily reacting. So now with your imagination, because I can't be there to touch you, think of each of us touching each other as in wakame, where we touch and we move with it. And if we touch on the, mostly like on the shoulders, we open and relax. So just feel what happens when we touch each other other as if there's a partner there with walk away and we let the touch move us our body senses and responds to that and at a time of our choosing now become bamboo there still may be a touch but i don't have to move with it i'm not even necessarily tightening my muscles i'm just aware grounded and centered And back to walk away, seaweed again. If you can't feel a partner, think about the wind blowing, the air pressure coming and touching you, having you move side to side, it's air pressure sensing it. If you're really advanced, perhaps you feel just my voice telling you <laughs> and my mind has you move. And now at your own time and choosing, come back to bamboo again, upright, Attentive, but not tense in any place. Breathing is natural. Eye vision is soft and very aware of all around. Good. All right. So as we've softened ourselves with seaweed and aware of different movements, let's explore more of this Musokan part. So, um, I'll change angles in a moment, but imagine uh, that there's something that's coming from behind. Um, and in this case, because we're practicing together, it's going to be a very soft push from behind. Um, and my reaction can be as I feel that push from behind, I step and it goes on past me. And now I'm, I'm safe because I've simply stepped out of way, out of harm's way. And I invite that to go past. So let's try again. I'm standing very attentive, aware, step, and it passes right past me. I didn't have to do anything to change it. That energy, that movement can go right behind me. Please do not practice this in traffic. I'm not telling you to stand in front of moving cars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's try to the other side and just step, and it passed right by. That's all it took to get out of harm's way. I didn't have to meet, I didn't have to. So let's try to step and see what happens if we panic. <gasps> Quite oh. to me at least, right? <laughs> and come back to facing center. And now let's step and let's 
um, think that we're going to meet whatever's coming our way with anger. So step and oh, and that's not oh, it's going to fall into the person because my weight is going that direction. Let's try it stepping back. So I'm going to turn my back to you. Uh, so now I'm going to step to my backside and I feel it come. And this time I choose to step in and it passes right in front of me. Let's try again. And passes right in front of me. And as I step, I'll say, I'm right here and I'm really going to react in anger. And, and I lean into you and I almost you have to fall because my energy is off balance. And standing again. And so what happens with these different positions, right? Um, if I'm standing and the energy is coming, the energy is coming from behind me and I choose to step to my front, I am expanding the space behind me. And when I expand the space behind me, I'm also expanding time. So there's more time, more space for this energy to move by. And I've, I've given myself a place of safety and more time to get there by stepping and expanding time and space. If I'm feeling it from behind and I say, it is a way to open, I've shrunk space and time. I've come in closer to my opponent. And the energy still goes by, I'm still safe, but I've shrunk space and time to do that. So, all right. So just to wrap up, let's go through them again. So first start with seaweed, wind in the wheat, wheat in the wind, tree branches, some soft, and ah! Ah! startled. And back to seaweed. And now startle, and I'm gonna meet it with force. Ah! Yeah. And back. And now this time I'm going into bamboo, oak, redwood. Nice and sturdy. No tension, excess in any place, breathing natural. And I'm nicely grounded in Tenchi Jin. And if I feel something coming from behind me, I can step, open the space, and it goes right behind me. Let's try that again. As I step, space opens, energy moves by the time. Back to bamboo, and now from behind, I choose to step, energy moves right in front of me. Back to bamboo, step, and open. So as you study this, you can study how does your body feel, different conditions. Know that you always have somewhere safe that you can move to, um, that you don't need to feel threatened and overwhelmed. Perhaps it's to step and let something just pass by. Or you can be standing as bamboo, redwood, oak, and know that something may be coming. And yes, there it is. I remember that push on the shoulder before, but I don't have to react because I'm centered over my feet, over my knees, over my hips, Chen Chi Jin. So adapting from a little bit of what Shin was teaching yesterday, a lot about being in the right posture, the right stance allows you to pick the right time, the right place, the right response for something that may be happening. And it can also happen then without thinking about it, but I feel it coming and I step. Feel it coming and I step. Okay, so to me, that brings us to this piece of coexistence of recognizing that within me, I can have tendencies to want to run away and feel panicked. I can have tendencies in with me to feel angry and really want to respond back. I can also be soft, but I don't need to be so soft that it only just passes through and doesn't 
doesn't allow me to be centered. So I can be bamboo and I can be centered. I can feel and see what's happening, but I don't need to have to respond because I'm not threatened and I know I have a safe place to go. I know I have a safe place to go. Okay, thank you for that part of the time. We'll take a little feedback a little later. So let's just go ahead and go through time here, part three and think about the stances as you're in some of those in terms of, are you Tenji Jin? Are you stable? Are you off balance? Um, how does it feel? So back to good old wakame. Just let yourself weave and flow. And side to side. And get the koshi moving a little bit. We've been standing, so as let's just kick our feet a bit. Get the blood back flowing through the legs. Ish, me, sun, she, go. Good. And come back to seiritsu. Eye gaze, eyes are open, looking forward to the horizon and opening, shining the light from the chakras of your palms. And as you breathe in, your arms float up, palms open, extending out as well. So you're pulling and expanding that whole beacon of light to now completely be surrounding your body. And continue to move upward so that your palms come together, piercing through the heavens. Your head can drop back a little bit as you look up. Palms are over your heart chakra, extending upward. And bring your crown chakra forward so that your head is underneath now the palms that are piercing upward through the fingers. And let this float down first over the crown chakra and then slightly in front of the face coming down to shoulder height and express your diamond on all your facets to the world. I've begun to think of this inner circle as the peace within me. And as our palms touch, it's the peace between us. And the elbows drop a little bit as your palms open, keeping at shoulder height, palms open to the heavens.
and my arms as I breathe in float out a bit more to offer in devotion. Continue to extend forward as right hand comes across left palm in a slight diagonal. Going homeward. And as I breathe in, my hands come back to the center, right slightly above left and nourishing my heart. And as I breathe in, my hands come down, gently holding my left thumb and my right hand over my lower sense of my being. And bringing your feet together, a little softer, natural standing. Let's go through a few movements of <clears throat> deep bow and then hugging the universe. So arms up about shoulder height, open your stance slightly. And very gently, deep bow forward. Let your hips hinge back. Let yourself drop and release down. Take your time. No rush. No judgment on how far you go or don't go. Just releasing and letting the lower part of your back open. <coughs> and drop into the earth. Make a small circle and come to one side of the leg. Come up on the diagonal, palms open to the heavens. Head and neck come up. Palms continue to rise forward overhead, palms coming together, piercing upward, facing forward, palms forward, deep bow. Small circle, come to the other side, come up on the diagonal on that side of your body, arms out, palms up. 
Arms continuing to rise overhead, two palms come together. Fingers pierce upward, pivot forward, palms forward. Last big bow, gratitude, appreciation. <clears throat> Small circle, find that treasure. Bring that on up as you let your knees release. Head stays down, eyes focusing down, head and neck coming up last. Gaze softly off on the horizon. Stepping out a little further with that right foot as if to now to hug a tree, hug each other, hug our community. And let's go through the Big Dipper pivoting so that my right arm drops, my left arm comes up and I'm gently looking over my right shoulder. And exhaling. Left hand is now in front as I spiral through and elongate up on the left side. And two more times, come down, exhale in front. And as we spiral and turn, look up, upward toward your left hand. Keep that elongation of up and down. Exhale. And spiral to the left side, looking up toward my right hand. And coming down to front. Embrace this moment of togetherness. And stepping up, arms coming to the side. One last big ah for the moment. There'll be more. Reaching up. Uh, let your palms fill. Make a ski, closing with your little fingers first to grab what you need for today, for this moment. Let it cross over in front and bring it on down. Keeping that feeling of connection through our grasp so that we're holding each of us, West Coast, East Coast, UK, Japan, France, Australia, Hands releasing, coming back to center. Continue the deeper moke soul. Moksoyame. Thank you all for your time and attention.